It's your boy Von Lee. It's a good morning. As you see, I'm in my car. And I kind of want to talk about uh, the difference between great players and the difference between good players. Um, I was just thinking because I'm always thinking about stuff to tell my little brother. And, um, you know, because he's in high school and, you know, I want him to be the best that he can be. So, one of the things that I I found out is that, you know, having a clear vision on what your goals are and what, how you want to accomplish them and what you see yourself as. If you want to, you know, be a starter, do you want to go to college, do you want to be in the NBA, like, what exactly do you want to do? So, um, I'm here to help you out, and guide you and show you and and maybe steer you in the right direction if you want to be a good player or you want to be a great player. It's basically about your vision. How do you vision yourself? You know, how do you how do you vision yourself right now? How do you see yourself right now? And how do you vision yourself in the future? Like, do you have clear intentions? When we listen to interviews with great athletes, um, we tend to see them talk about they already knew the steps necessary to get to where they are now they knew that they had to work hard they knew that they had to um, find the right um, teacher the right information to get to where they are right now um, when you hear Michael Jordan when you hear Steph Curry when you hear Larry Bird like they all knew you know what was the next step to achieve greatness or achieve their goals but you know most athletes are like just inexperienced mountaineers you know, like they, they don't, they know that they want to get to the top of the mountain. They see themselves at the top of the mountain, but they don't know how to get there exactly. They don't know, you know, what what's the best route to take. So you know, they just go on different routes, trying different things, and you know, unfortunately, sometimes you go on this route and you know, you're turning yourself back around or. You're going, you're going a circle, and you end up right back to where you started, and it's like it get kind of frustrating because you, you you put in this work, and you realize that um, nothing's happening for you. You realize that you're still in the same spot. You realize that you're still on the bench. You know you still not compete. Being a great player is knowing where you want to be and how to get there. And how you do that is finding great teachers. Um, I'll have more content up that, that can help you, that can teach you different things, and maybe you can find um, different resources to help you out. I have a training uh, page, DPT um, Training. Uh, you can look it up on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Um, yeah. yeah, you can look me up at DPT um, Training on IG. Twitter and Facebook, but you know, like I was saying earlier, you gotta know where you want to go. You gotta know where you at right now. You gotta know how you're gonna get there. You gotta have clear goals, clear steps, because without them, you're just gonna be lost. Great athletes know where they're gonna go. They know they have clear intentions on what they're gonna do and how they're gonna do it. And the journey's hard. I'm not gonna sit here and say the journey's easy. The journey's hard. You gotta push yourself. You got to be a different person. You got to be, you know, a new you. But you know, different between the difference between good players and bad players or average players um, is, you know, the great players don't give up. They don't give up. They don't cry. You know, they just know that it's part of the process, changing and molding, and you know, pushing yourself is is a part of the process and you have to learn you have to learn to love that process if you don't then maybe you know sports being a great athlete just ain't cut out for you maybe you just you know do it for fun you know what i'm saying and that's not that's nothing wrong with that but you know some some certain people want to you know have this they want to have this in their life for you know a lifetime they want to be you know the greatest at it so they want to be the best and you gotta be like the best and the, the best you know study the best you have to learn how to find people that already been in that area or know about the area 
you know, so they can teach you how to get past the struggles that you're facing, the walls that you keep on running into. They'll teach you how to jump over the walls, how to get through, how to bust through the walls. I'm going to tell you two important ways to be a, a better player. Two important ways. And one of them is ingrain solid fundamentals. You got to have your fundamentals. You got to be able to know the basis of the game. You know, guilt execution it takes to be, you know, a great player. You want to be able to, you know, dribble with your head up. You want to be able to shoot comfortably. You you know, you just want to be able to do moves and not think about the moves before you do them. You want to be able to have the fundamental basics down packed solely into you so you don't have to think about it. Um, research says um, that a player with a calmer brain is more likely to be effective than a player with a destructive brain. And when I mean destructive brain, I mean a brain that spends more effort and more time focusing on what it's doing at that moment. Yeah, so like I was saying, uh, you know, it just means that your brain could be focused more on important areas. So while you're in the game, you can be more efficient on the court. You know, instead of, because it's very hard when, you're, when your mind's all over the place and you're trying to focus on the game at the same time. Like, when I play basketball, like, I feel free while I'm, while I'm playing. Like, you know, nothing else matters besides the game. And you kind of want to um, have that mental aspect while you're in the game because, you know, if you're thinking about what can go wrong, this is why I say, you know, confidence is very important while you're playing basketball because if you have confidence, it's really nothing that you can't do, you know. So it's like if you practice, if you take the things that we teach you um, in our training, you can learn how to free form and play while you're in the game. And they'll teach you the fun we'll teach you the fundamentals on how to, you know, basically go through the game and you know process different things while the game is is in rotation you kind of want to slow down the game you know but we're gonna get to that um my second thing is like i was saying practice makes permanence and you know elite players they already kind of know what's going to happen they already can predict the future or predict how the play is going to turn out you know and that's because you know when researchers research you know elite players they figure out that their brain processes things faster so it it helps them slow down the game faster it helps them predict what moves they should do or what move their opponent's about to do or what the defense is about to do like as an elite player you kind of the game needs to slow down for you on each level high school middle school college nba you know the game needs to slow down for you so you'll be able to you know take advantage of the opportunities that show themselves you know, you your vision to get better because you already know that your player is about to move in a certain direction. So you kind of already see the, you know, the play happening. So, you know, practice makes permanence. And the more that you practice anything, the better that, you know, things will turn out for you. You know, the sore things will, and the easier things will come to you. You know, so practice makes permanence. Remember that. So, you know, you want to take time out of your day while you're in the game, while you're in practice, you know, while you're walking home. You kind of want to look at your vision and see, you know, are you checking the things off your list for your goals? Are you on the best road to um, accomplishing your goals? Um, you know, how much time do you spend you know, thinking about your future, thinking about where you want to go and what position you want to be in. How do you want to live? Do you want to, you know, be a mediocre player? Do you want to be, you know, a player that people call and want to be on their team? Like, what kind of player do you want? How, what are your daily habits? Are you sleeping all day? You know, are you, are you actually putting in that work? I just seen a bird, I'm sorry, but, um, he just flew, but uh, you know, are you are you putting in that work? Are you working out? Are you grinding? You know, are you getting faster? 
Are you um, being able to run longer? You know what? Are you on the best road to achieving your goal? Do you even know how to achieve your goal? If you don't, you know, you could just follow. You can press that follow button on IG. You can follow me at um, Age of Vonley. Um, I got a couple of pages, Age of Vonley, um, Athletic Clinic, and um, DBT Training. They basically all just one big network of, you know, content that's going to be, you know, different. Um, but it's going to be geared towards the same, uh, the same process, the same uh, industry, you know, uh, just getting you a better being a better basketball player and be able to you know achieve your goals and we can do that together so uh, you know take the time and think about the things and press them little three lines at the top and turn on your push notifications and you'll be notified every time I post new content um, stay easy stay blessed keep on grinding and while they sleep we're gonna be working stay tuned